a North Dakota State fan. Initially an assistant, hired by Tim Miles, then alongside Saul Phillips. Saul, of course, took over as head coach. Here are the Eagles to get it going. It's Larry McKnight, Jr. dialing it up from deep. Check out the jitters by seeing the ball go in early. Plus, like you said, Smitty, it allows you now to set your defense and try to apply some pressure. That's Jared Samuelson. Shot clock down to five. They go down low to the box. It's kicked out by Douglas. Here's a corner three. Got it! And both teams are rolling. It's Randy Miller from the corner. You look at the Bisons right now. They're going to have to have five guys get on the glass, especially to block out Rashawn Davis. This kid is relentless on the glass. Shoots 65% from the field. So a good offensive start for the Eagles. Here's a three-pointer. That's Benny Shaheed, and that young man can fill it up. First points of the night. Scott reports Jim will come out and say that he doesn't go left, and he goes left. <laughs> right away, I look over at the coaches and say, hey, the Scott report was wrong. <laughs> Shaheed going to the rack. And allow him to get to the basket because despite his stature being shorter, he's built enough to get inside and finish. And oh, just what an offensive start for both of these teams. Davis with a little floater. Look at that handle. A little bit too much. Nearly stolen, it's kept alive. This is Tyson Roy, the lead talent from that kid out of Tampa, Florida. Six minutes gone by, a one-point lead for North Carolina Central. That's a corner three, it's no good for McKnight. Another offensive rebound, Davis off a beautiful feed from Miller. And this is the offensive rebound they gave up. North Dakota State and that pass, and there's Davis, he just dropped that one in. Very long history between them. How much fun would that be? But uh, the Bison hoping to have something to say about it. And another corner three. That's Tyree Eady, the freshman. But North Dakota State is there, and the job that Coach Richmond is doing thus far. Miles originally hired Richmond as a graduate assistant, 2003. Shot clock here down to seven. This is Julian Walters, who's senior from Madison, Wisconsin. Inside, and he is stoned. First ever NCAA tournament victory in 2015. That huge upset against Oklahoma. That shot up and in from Grizzle, and he's fouled. You break the press, you break it by passing. Now Grizzle is able to get himself in a position to absorb the contact. But once again, the ability to come down and be patient in your half-court offense, to break the press and then exploit the one-on-one -on -one opportunity, now you have a chance to get yourself to a free throw line. As you watch both of these teams play, a lot of athleticism, a lot of big athletes on both sides, and the three-point shooting to create those mismatches. Eleven unanswered points for the Bison. And Coach Moulton talked about that nice jump shot, that, that one-five pick and roll. And we hit the eight-and-a-half-minute mark left here before halftime. Mm. A dribble drive, beautiful setup. Davis, the recipient. Time Perkins able to maintain his dribble, and smartly, Davis just dove right to the middle of the basket. Quick answer at the other end, and a chance at a three-point play. Here's Shaheed, the drive and kick, Samuelson. Mm. He is a deadly three-point shooter. I'll get it down to Davis. Go back to being who you are, not settle. This is Miller from Never three, mind. get it! Never mind, shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Tough floater on the one from Weasel, misses everything. Off the floor, Douglas running the floor! The athleticism to finish inside. Crowd charge to Samuelson, he's first. Boy, Miller trying to force the issue, getting right to the rack. Back door and then finish with a defensive rebound. Here comes the kid Ward, beautifully Ooh, done with his like left it. hand on a scoop before halftime. Eight to shoot, beautifully done. That's Cameron Hunter, the sophomore. North Carolina Central in the first four for the third straight year. They've yet to break through here. That is Douglas dialing up to three. They love to post Ward on this short corner. This is Ward going to that drop step. Well played defensively, but Ward just too much talent. Fourth time in their history, first time since 2015. That's a nice Magical play, play by Griesel. Off target from Miller. Look at Ward, open floor, contact the body control, incredible. Finishes three games over 500. Beautiful cut and a foul as Griesel with a chance at three. Great post up. 
Try to get him on the offside. Set the screen and roll and reverse the basketball. Miller! Boy, would not be denied. First points for North Carolina Central in nearly four and a half minutes. And one of the, the weaknesses for this Eagles team, you see Ward just open for a three-point shot. Not contesting, just turning the basketball over 15 times a game. Both of these two coaches, two of the most respected Ooh, in the mid-conference teams, boy, Tyson Ward. My goodness. Up to go get it. Look at Don't Ward. Tell me. He Don't measured tell him me. off and said, Davis said no. Impressed with both players, Ward and Davis, Jim. They met at the summit, and Davis got that one. Shaheed, it goes, and a chance at three. And then he took a pause and then said, poise and rebound, poise and rebound. He wants no let up. That is Douglas on a three. And got a wide open shot because of the unbalanced defense. Here is Miller. A little twirl and floater, seven straight. This is Douglas on a step back. Davis getting his hands dirty. A little bit of contact, fight for the loose ball. Oh, Look yeah. at Davis again, mm. nine straight points. Seconds to shoot, 13 and change remaining. North Dakota State seeing their 13 point lead whittled down to four. Masterful footwork on the play by Dengu going glass. Here's Vinny Shaheed into the paint. Underneath, off balance, beautiful floater by Edie. And what a career he's putting together for himself. Open Fargo. There's an attack by McKnight. It's, it's many, I, I believe you, you know Coach Moten. I think he told him in a timeout, drive the basketball, because right now, that's been the central component. You see a nice shot. Here's Davis, shot clock at six. Davis bobbles it for a moment, well played by Goo. How about that pass from Davis? Out to Miller, splash! How about Davis maintaining the spacing instead of trying to dive? Fanny Shahid right down Broadway. Has proven that on and more importantly off the court. Douglas in a crowd, incredible! <laughs> How did he put that down? And here come the Eagles, they can cut it to one or tie with a three. Way down, Jim McKnight, and we are tied. And Coach Richmond. Cruiser's free throw makes it a one-point game. This is a quarter three by McKnight. But they're six and change away, potentially, from moving on to take on Duke. But not if Central has something to say about it. Things was all over him. Here's Douglas. Wants to take Cruiser, beautiful drop, Cruiser got a piece. Saw Shahid take a, a seat for the Bison. Open three, McKnight catching fire. And the fact is, Lavelle Moton told us that his team was here last year. So many of these kids had experience. The moment hasn't been big for him, and it hasn't been big for that young man. He come off a shooter to give him an easy look at the three-point line. Beautiful backdoor cut by McKnight. This would be only the second all-time tournament victory for North Dakota State. Here's Ward, beautiful spin, masterful! Get it right here into Ward's hands and let him go to work. Here he comes again. Ward taking some contact, going glass! 24 seconds, Eagles running out of clock. McKnight putting it down. Quick timeout by Lavelle Moten. Up four, Just let him take it. Hits the big one, makes it a two-possession game. Down to three seconds, that's a three from Douglas. Short, and North Dakota State is moving on to Columbia.